The Blitz has returned to London with renewed fury. An official opinion is now quoted that the latest sample is the worst yet. The raiders came in with flares and incendiaries, and not all the untiring efforts of firemen and fire watchers could prevent the flames gaining a hold on buildings and scattered areas of the capital. High explosive rained down where the blaze had gained a hold and increased the havoc. London endured once more what provincial cities had recently suffered and passed through the ordeal with equal bravery. For why minimize the facts? We've expected a hard time and this kind of blitz is only what we expected. This is not to forget the sympathy due to the victims, to the dead, bereaved, homeless and destitute, victims of the Germans' criminal mania for blood and conquest. But now, a word or two to the government and the powers that be. While the courageous attitude of the British people is beyond praise, it is very important to take note of another aspect of their mood. You don't hear anybody saying, we can take it now. Why? Not because it isn't true, we take taking it for granted. But the war has moved on, and the phrase which fits our present sentiment is, they've got it coming to them. They, that is the Germans, have got it coming to them. We can bide our time if we know that sooner or later, preferably sooner, the Germans are going to go through it too. The anxiety and the suspense of watching, the first throbbing note of the Raiders' engine, the bombs, fires, the collapse of shattered buildings, the strain of firefighting, of rescue and salvage, of physical suffering, death, bereavement, all these things are going to be the lot and portion of the German people. They've got it coming to them. They've chosen this kind of war and that's what they're going to get.